what 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 is going on recently I did a video um, I don't know, maybe about a week ago uh, no not a week I'm sorry I don't know what I'm talking about about a month ago <laughs> about a month ago I did a video on me feeding my African cichlids okay now I deleted the video so don't go looking for it because I was feeding them the wrong thing okay uh, now I am more educated I've done research I've talked to my uh, fish dude and yeah, I got some good stuff I know what to feed them what not to feed them and uh, I'm gonna do another video look at them man they're freaking going crazy dude they want this stuff they know it's feeding time anyway I am going to show you what I feed my Africans and what maybe you should too this is what works for me maybe you should give it a shot first off let me mention this is not tetra um, min I guess it's called tetra minimum whatever I don't I don't freaking know this is not tropical flakes this is a special blend of spirulina I got which is very good for African cichlids um, it has protein in it but it's not it's a different form of protein if that makes sense I don't I'm not gonna sit here and BS you like I know what kind of protein it is but I talked to my LFS guy and I trust them with my life let alone my fish's life so I know um, you know, this is the stuff, I, I told him, I said, well, you know, I've been feeding him stuff with protein, and he's like, oh, yeah, you got to watch out for that. This is good spirulina stuff. It has a different form of protein, which is uh, good for the cichlids. So, I, this is a two blend. This is a blend of two here. Uh, one of the brown is like a darker green one in there. I will, I'm going to feed him here in a minute, but let me just talk to you about it. Algae wafers, um, I give these to pretty much all my fish. These are especially good for African cichlids because um, they are, these are Mabuna um, cichlids, the ones I had. These are African cichlids that come from the Mabuna, I think it's uh, Mabuna, um, or Malawi is a lake, I'm sorry, where they come from. And these are called Mabuna because in um, where the where they're from, the village people, that means rockfish. Where, where they're from, is they, they graze and um, scrape off the algae from the rocks. And algae is a great form of nutrients for them. They like it. That's good. Um, and this also is safe for them. Because look, it has a cichlid on it. No, but seriously. <laughs> um, uh, the ingredients on here, let's see if it can focus in here. Come on, focus, kid. Focus. I said focus. Oh man, come on, dude. You made me look an asshole. Oh man, I look like a freaking ass now, don't I? Anyway, that one over there to the corner. Come on, focus, man. Really? Anyway, I'm sorry. The, this thing right here says crude protein, okay? 33%. Crude protein is a different form of protein not as harsh for these guys okay baby shrimp unfortunately my cichlids uh, they don't really care for this all that much yours might uh, this is by tetra this is especially good for um, uh, the digestive system it's very easy for them to digest as you can see it's just a little mini shrimp in there um, they don't really like it but my grommies like it so I just feed it to them I've tried this before, it doesn't really work, so feel free to do it, but don't come complaining to me if they don't like it. This is um, cichlid pellets, floating of course. This is especially for cichlids. I also feed it to my grommy sometimes as well. Um, and there's not much to say about this. This is especially for the cichlids, but I don't know, it's just a pain in the butt to feed these to them because I'm afraid they're going to choke on it because these aren't you know, adults yet. So I have to break it up and all that crap. This I throw in there at the end. Cichlid, uh, sinking cichlid gold. This is also especially for cichlids. Um, these these two um, these two are um, will help with the uh, their color. And as you can see here, 
higher protein levels carnivorous fish love. Carnivorous fish love. These are carnivores. Okay. And uh, again, this is a different form of protein. This is safe for the cichlids. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I feed these guys. Okay. Let's take some of this crap here. And as you can see, it's, well, you know, you can't really see it. This is very, like, soft flakes. These are a lot different than, you know, like, the other flakes I feed the other one. These are a lot softer. Okay. You can't really tell because you're not feeling it. But, yep, just throw it in there. They go nuts over it. And it's also safe for the rainbow sharks I have in there, which is, I don't know, somewhere in there. Um, and also the tiger barbs. It's safe for them as well. Some over here for these guys, and that's all I'll feed them of this. And you know, it's good to keep it variety as well. Again, this is not Tetra, okay? Keep that in mind. I don't want no hate in the comments. But, and I will throw in some of this. Open it here. Hand it down. I guess I should have been more prepared, right? Anyway. I just break this up with my hands because, like I said, they can eat it. They, you know, put it in their mouth, spit it out, put it in their mouth, spit it out until it softens up and whatnot. I just break it in there. This might be a little too much, actually. Let me put some of this stuff back. Bear with me, guys. I'm kind of unprepared. Hey, take this time out to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. How about that? All right, as you can see, it's pretty well bashed up. Throw it in there. A little over here for these guys. And that's all I'll do for that. And again, if you're doing exactly what I'm doing, if you went out and bought this, then, um, I mean, I'm not gonna feed them any of the algae wafers right now because I'm running low and my other, you know, actual algae, algae fish need it. And there's also, you know, plenty of algae in there, but, um, then mix it up, you know, feed them just this one day and the next day oops, Maybe feed them some spirulina or maybe then and then the next day feed them a little bit of both maybe some shrimp Maybe some of the sticky gold some of the wafers, you know mix it up You know they, they don't like the same thing every day all, all fish don't like the same thing if they did I mean they're just like us, you know, you wouldn't go and eat a sandwich, a bologna sandwich every day, right? You mix it up. Maybe throw some mayonnaise on there. Maybe throw some turkey on there, in there you know? But, um, yeah, uh, that's about it. I'm going to throw some of this in there as well. Now, this I actually really like because it's sinking. And I don't break it up. As you can see, I got the uh, smaller pellets here, which... I just grabbed this when I first got them, and I was like, oh yeah, and then, you know, this is medium to large, so, you know, I mean, and when I got them, they were even smaller than they are now, but I throw about, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 in there, just throw it in there all over, and, uh, that's about it. As you can see, it falls down there, and they'll get it, and also, because I have bottom feeders in here, I have the, yeah, see, they like it too, <laughs> I have, uh, rainbow sharks in here of course I can't find them right now but uh you know they 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 need to be fed as well oh there it is there's one I got another one there too but anyway um that's about it guys I'll give another update soon uh make sure you check out the other videos peace out god bless thank you for watching bye